My doctor told me I had to be on my high blood pressure medication. Oh, really? Listen to Deborah's story. We're going to talk about uh, blood pressure. And she, again, was uh, kind of like kind of a um, visionary. She went beyond what she was normally told about taking high blood pressure medication. And Deborah had decided to come off high blood pressure medication. Now, something's interesting. She's going to, I'd like to tell her story. I'm more than happy to talk to you about this. But she was also on thyroid medication since, uh, actually, for 16 years. She got on the high blood pressure medication after taking the thyroid medication, which might look to see that the thyroid medication drew, drove up her um, high blood pressure. So she went through and took, care, took uh, advantage of taking, not only coming off the thyroid medication, but also high blood pressure medication because she chose to do that. But I'd like to have her tell her story about her high blood pressure and see what happened and what kind of results she got with that. So when did you decide to come off uh, high blood pressure medication? Uh, probably, it's probably been, what, about a month ago now mm -hmm. that um, I decided to start coming off of, of that because as a result of coming off the thyroid medicine, one of the things was I noticed the drop in my blood pressure oh. and, and, and the way I was feeling as well. So I wanted to totally get off of that if possible. So I started uh, very slowly. And it took probably about six weeks altogether to get off of the um, blood pressure medicine, or a month to six weeks. Right. And and I just a little at the time, and I'd wait a you know a couple of weeks and see how that that my body felt and my blood pressure. And and there again within that two week period. At first, you know, you, you would feel a little pressure and thinking maybe it was going up and stuff, but then I was persistent and I stayed with it and it started, I noticed it was coming down and, and it was more manageable. So um, I just continued to do that and so I, I, I've been off of it two weeks fully now, right. totally, right. the last little bit of day. And my blood pressure is lower than when... Uh, at any time since I started, since I started on the thyroid medicine, and it just would shoot up, and it would just get higher, and they would add more to, and they would t change, you know, that would do awful things to my body, like swell up, and I had to have physical therapy because of the fluid in my body. It swelled, uh, uh, stretched the bands, the muscles in my knees, to where it was like a rubber band that had been stretched out too long. They wouldn't come back together, so they had to give me. Um, physical therapy right. to, to recondition those. Right. And and then other things too, <laughs> here again, more energy, more clarity of mind, a, a sense of peace. My veins opened up, which was what this medicine was supposed to be doing, was keeping right. them relaxed. And and my blood pressure would be 200 and something, like 218, over like 188, and it would not come down. And the more they added, it went you know, from normal on up slowly, slowly, slowly till it, it just stayed there right. with that. So, and it was not a good feeling, you know, and this went on for all these years. Right. And so, but when I started slowly coming off, it starts coming down, you know, and I mean, it was, it was, yeah, backwards. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's coming down. And, and now, you know, I, I don't need it anymore. I'm not having... It suppressed a lot of things in my body that's supposed to, you know, like uh, not being able to perspire as much. You, you know, your your oh, heart beating so hard yep. with the medications. Now my heart is beating like it did, you know, before I ever got on there. It was calm, right. and it's not. You can't just feel it pounding all right. the time. You can't feel your ears pounding right. with the high blood pressure. Stuff, so. And you've been on for for what we what we figured twelve years, fifteen years. Uh, about two thousand three was when they put, so. put me on uh, the medication, and uh, thirteen you know, years. Thirteen years. Yeah. And and it's it's you know it's like I told you that I think the doctors meant well, but I also think they are driven by the pharmaceutical industry. You know, um, and. The only thing they know is that, and they don't want to give you any alternative uh, natural ways to be healthy and right. not be on dependent on these drugs or make your body where I, I feel I, I really feel like if I kept on going, I would have died sooner or later 
from it because it was, you can't go, I mean, all, all these years, how long has it been? I've been at those high right. blood pressure top right. and bottom levels. Right. I wouldn't have survived that yeah. too much longer. When you decided to come off, did, did I tell you to come off? No. So you just came off because you want to get better? Yes. Good, good. Um, that was my whole goal. Was yeah. the morning. When I started coming to you was to get my body feeling better and things doing that so that the possibility that I could start weaning myself off of this stuff. Good, good, good. Um, what's your future look like as you look at what you're doing? You see the difference in your future? I do. I'm healthier, happier, <laughs> I <think laughs> longer. So. And she gets that way as well. <laughs> She's very violent. She's again very courageous, and always. By the way, and what, one of the things I have to say about Deborah as well, she was committed. You know, she wanted to get better, and that's so much of what this is all about as well. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's easy to say, just give me a drug, and it make me feel better. Hopefully, to make me feel better, which we find it's not working too often for people. But the same thing is that she had to decide, I need to make some changes, and I think she made some lifestyle changes as well, looking at diet with her as well. We talked about emotional mindsets, which she did very well with. She started dealing with her stuff in her life. And if she's dealing with this stuff in life, she's learned now how to deal with that into the future so we don't have to be concerned or thoughtful about taking um, high blood pressure medication and or thyroid medication, which we just taken before as well. She's come off both of those because she realized that she made those changes and found out why it was going on, get the cause of the reason, the problem would correct itself, which is exactly what she did. So, um, yeah, thank you. Properly too. Yeah, she eats properly too. I can eat properly. <laughs> exactly. It is a commitment. It's a, it's a desire to get better. Is really where it comes from. And what we're noticing, a lot more people out there want to do this. They just don't know what to do. Yes. And that's right. people like this, are, she's gone through this, so she knows what you're going through as well. That's so it's right. possible for all of you. It is. It is. So thank you very much for talking thank to folks. You. And I hope you learned something from her as well. And again, yes. it, the, if Debbie can do it, you can do it as well. She's she's committed, and you can be just as committed as well. Okay? That's right. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So if you like Debbie, want to be healthy, call Winter Wellness Center at 770-536-6600.